Hey YouTube, I am in my Tesla um, and I'm so excited to shoot this video and I couldn't wait. So uh, apologize in advance if it's not as polished as some of my other videos, but Tesla just launched a brand new update and it's flipping amazing. So I wanted to uh, just come on, um, make a quick video, just highlighting it, just really encouraging others. Man, if you are thinking about purchasing a Model 3, this is definitely the time to do it. And one of the things that I always get asked about um, me getting the Model Model 3 and why I decided um, to go new is that, um, again, the warranty for Tesla seems to be top notch. I have a couple issues that I'll, I'll talk about. I'm gonna get my Tesla service um, here coming up soon. Um, but one of the biggest things that I always get is, uh, you know, why did you decide to get a Tesla versus other electric vehicles? And one of the big reasons is because when I researched and I did my research for over a year, Tesla seemed to be the only company that actually um, the car would update itself. And so in terms of how Tesla describes it is that you are always having a car that's evolving and brand new, no matter no matter what your model year is because you're only a, a, a update away from having the newest and the, the best technology, whether it's free that Tesla uh, gives you or if you want to actually pay for other services like um, the autopilot and things like that, but you're an upgrade away, which really drew me uh, towards the Tesla. Um, so the only thing that you can't upgrade is your battery. So if you decide to get, you know, a long range or a dual long range or whatever, like you're stuck with that. At this point, um, Tesla has made no efforts to say you can upgrade your battery. But I had to make this video real quick because it is flipping amazing. I am at a charging station right now. I was out and about and, and uh, didn't have time to go home. So I decided to stop by one of our charging stations. So I am here, just me, myself and I at the charging station, um, sitting here for a little bit to get a little bit of juice so I can go about the rest of my evening. Um, but I want to highlight the new updates that just happened um, with Tesla. I guess before I do the highlights though, I will talk about a few of my issues that I do have with my vehicle. So I've, I've had, it's about three month mark. I'm almost at about 12,000 miles. And Tesla says at this stage of the game, uh, you should definitely get it serviced. Um, and at this point, getting my tires rotated. So I made a service appointment in the, probably the next week or so uh, that I will get that service appointment to get my tires rotated at my 12,000 mile mark. I guess get the car a once over. Um, I guess I'll do a video about that because I've never had the experience. So it'd be really cool to go to the service center and see what's done. So that's number one. Number two, the issues that I've had. I've only had um, three issues uh, in the three months that I've owned my Tesla. So one, my actual window, and you may not be able to see it, but interesting enough for my mirror on my passenger door, it's like, I can't, if you can see those streak lines in there, it's raining right now, but the streak lines are in there. Every time I wash my car and the window goes down and comes up, it's like some kind of film that comes from the inside of the door jam that just gets stuck on my window. So I usually have to wipe it several times, get Windex and everything. But that is one issue that I found thus far in owning my Tesla for uh, the this past three months. Another issue is that right down here in my, and I hope I can get it correctly, right down here in my control panel, um, just this this part, right when I got the Tesla, I, um, this part just came up, it came undone. So I think it's just a matter of glue. I got my Tesla in summer heat, you know, uh, J June, end of June, before we hit July. So I think this is just a matter of being re-glued back on and it should be A-OK. -okay. The third thing, which just recently happened, um, yesterday and today, my speakers, my front speakers popped. So I was riding down, jamming on music. I like to have my bass up and everything. Um, of course, uh, like listening to the, all different kinds of music, electronic, hip hop, just a little bit of everything. So I can't remember the song I was listening to, but I was riding down the street and my speaker popped and no sound was coming out of my front speakers, only my back speakers. So I was like flipping out and I was like, this is going to suck having to drive around here until I can get to my service center and service center appointment. My service center actually is about an hour away. So it's not like I can just go in, you know, the next day. So I have to actually plan it out. 
So you know, I know I was doing, being, getting ready to be due for service, but I was like, this is gonna be sucking coming around for about a week, week and a half, and having you know no music just on my back speakers, um, and it really, really um, no depth at all, just really basic in the very back. Um, so I hurry up, I pull over to the side of the road, looked and seen what um, blogs and things said about it, and someone gave the uh, example to go ahead and reset your steering wheel by pressing you know these two buttons at the same time on your steering wheel so that was cool um i did it it worked i was like okay cool i actually had made the service appointment and put that note in there i was like okay wow well, i still will have them look at to see may if something went wrong um i was back to, to to having music and doing well well here again uh tonight at about eight o'clock the same thing happened i'm driving and they pop again and they blow and so while I'm here at the actual charging station, I reset it and um, hopefully we will be good to go at least till I have my service appointment. But if, if not, that is a little tip and trick to actually reset it um, to actually get it back up and running. But I'm really curious to know what's going on. But out of three months and driving um, about 12,000 miles, which is a lot. Yes, I have a long commute. Um, I have a couple other side businesses hustle. So I really and bought my Tesla with the intention of driving it. And I've done so at three months with almost 12,000 miles. And those are the only probably hiccups that I have. Everything else in terms of the research that I did about the car, I absolutely love it. The only other drawback is I probably would have, should have gotten the additional range. Um, I just didn't want to pay the money at the time. I'll be honest, it was like a five, six thousand dollar upgrade, but probably would have maybe considered doing it just so that I don't have to charge um, as often. Okay, now to the awesome stuff. So Tesla launched a brand new update last night and I was just thinking to myself, okay, Tesla update, same old, same old. You know, you have a couple cool updates, a couple new games, a couple new quickly improvements of the map and stuff. That's been pretty much my updates. I think it's been two or three before this one. This one launched and I didn't even notice anything kind of awesome that happened. I was driving today, um, I got the update and went to go uh, Bluetooth my phone to the car and it popped up and I was like, oh my goodness. I think they've made the update that the Model 3s are very similar to the S's and the X. And to come to find out, it is. So one of the most amazing updates, and one thing if you're not familiar with the S from the, the Model 3, uh, the model that I have bought in 2019, June of 2019, um, just allows you really to upload your, your music from your phone. Uh, the Model S and the Model X, um, I played around with those models, and they give you the opportunity to have like Spotify, all these other um, video kind of um, music channels that is a Tesla radio station. So now the Model 3 now has that. Um, it has internet, it has YouTube, it has Netflix, it has um, Hulu. I was just amazed, like, oh man, they really upgraded the whole entertainment kind of system. So I just wanna briefly highlight some of those and, and, and show you. Super cool because I actually have my YouTube channel pulled up on my Tesla. So let me show you right here my channel real men get it done is pulled up on my model 3 and so that is flipping amazing um and right now i'm not i'm not um plugged into any wi-fi and this this is oh, i'm sorry i am so geek this is so cool i'm at the charging station Man, so we and we actually have a and my and my youtube channel is being played through my phone. I just had someone ask me, I had a friend in the car, and he was like, man, that'd be sweet if you could watch movies and stuff in here. And I was like, no, um, not yet. You know, it's nothing like that going on right now. Lo and behold, a few days later, the, it's on the Tesla. Like, that is crazy. Um, my YouTube channel, I'm a so geek. disastrous kitchen. Oh, this is just so sweet. <laughs> this is so sweet. Oh man, my YouTube channel. Okay, so besides that, besides that, as I say, I think for the Netflix, I gotta have like, I'll probably hook into my Wi-Fi um, on my phone to get it. But again, let me just show you guys, like this is just freaking amazing. Like all, I mean, YouTube itself, just being able to have that on there is cool. Um, let's see what else real quick I can highlight. Turn the music down. But here's what I was talking about in terms of highlighting. It has Netflix, Hulu, YouTube, Tesla tutorials. I mean, that's, go to this button here. It is added a entertainment portion and that kind of clicks up the movies and it goes to your, your arcade. The arcade was actually in the Tesla um, 
uh, I think they call them the nuggets, the, the eggs, the Easter eggs. That's where the arcade used to be. But now they have it right here um, on the entertainment console. So they've added a few new games, a few old school games that are there. That's just flipping amazing. I'm telling you guys, it's so, so cool to see that. But let's get to the radio, as I mentioned. So before, when you would have the radio, it only gave you this option right here, phone radio. That was the only two options that you had. Now you look at it and you have, they have karaoke. You can actually, I played one of them. They have like karaoke where you can sing in, into the car, have your kids and do all kind of, you know, uh, Bohemian Rhapsody, Let It Go, Frozen. You can actually sing along, crazy. Spotify, if you have an upgraded account, you can have your Spotify, LinkedIn, um, tune in, some other kind of service. But the streaming is, again, it's all, um, all Tesla's network. So you have all your favorites from today's hits to radio, uh, to news, to hip hop, um, to hard rock comedy. These are all brand spanking new features, which is so cool. Um, listening to it overall, the sound quality is pretty good. It doesn't thump as well as like my Apple Music playing through my iPhone. But just to be driving around, I think it, it's just really cool um, to have options of music and not having to always thumb through uh, Apple Music, uh, which I, I do currently have. So who knows? I may get rid of that. But that is some of the cool feet, the new features that they have, um, which just blew me away when I um, got on today and saw that. A few of the other ones, and I'm just going to briefly highlight um, the updated notes just so that people can see it. So as I said, it's so cool that Tesla is always evolving and your car will always kind of be new and fresh based on what's going on. But here are a few of the other updates that I'll just share. So they talked about a new game that came out about the theater, about the Spotify, the karaoke, being able to stream media, as I mentioned, new functions into your mapping section. So if you're hungry or, or wanna be lucky, I guess if you wanna go gamble or, or have some kind of fun entertainment, that's new on the map section. The maps were improved. The mobile app itself is improved, it's saying. So you can do things like um, unthaw your car if you're in a cold climate. Uh, you can close your windows now through the app. Um, if, for those of you who don't know, your app is actually your key. You get a key for the Tesla. I actually have mine right here. You get a Tesla key and that's your key for the car, but your app, your phone is actually your main key. So I usually use my phone for the most part. Um, I was switching back through and charging my phone so i just had my key kind of in operation for a little bit so my phone could fully charge and i not stress out about um using my phone for the car uh but they have dash cam improvements which is cool so you have a function that you your car is recording um all the time if you have a usb drive hooked in now it's saying the dash cam the rear dash cam so the footage of your rear facing window um i apologize for the, the glare but the rear facing um uh, camera that you have now can be recorded. So here's my rear facing camera. Again, I'm at the charging station. So it has gives me the opportunity to uh, actually uh, record that portion too as I'm driving, which is pretty cool. The sentry mode, which is just Tesla security version, that's been updated uh, with a few things. Uh, this Joe mode, whatever that is, your car chimes, reduces the volume of your car chimes, other updates, Bluetooth improvements. Um, the, the, the functions of having more options here is that application launcher and then the driver profile saying that you can kind of add a few more additions to the driver profile. So this is just amazing, y'all. I mean, for Tesla to do this and give us the same opportunities as the, the other models, I didn't know that they were ever going to go to this direction. I follow some of the things that go on on the blogs and stuff, but I haven't been tapped in. So if this was something that everyone else knew about, great but it really shocked me surprised me and i was just in awe uh so i am as i said here at my charging station here it's raining getting ready to call it a day and head home but um yeah just wanted to give a quick update on my three months my um 12 000 miles almost and just the experience with my tesla i absolutely love this car um, best purchase I could have ever made. Um, again, if you are interested, thinking about it, do your research and homework. But if you are able to get one, um, you will not be disappointed. I have had so much fun with my Tesla, the comfort, the drive. As I said, I haven't had the experience of going to a service center yet, but that will happen here shortly. And I'll make a video about that. So please share, like, and subscribe my videos. 
um and i will talk at you next time youtube so till next time peace god bless and again like share subscribe uh, to my channel real men get it done talk to you guys later